Good morning, guys. It's Emily. I'm here with your daily wisdom shot of the day. I hope that these are helpful for you. I, I'm not even sure how many people are necessarily watching, um, but for whoever is, it might be important. So I decided to go ahead and do this, even though I feel kind of tired this morning. Um, I've been having a bout of insomnia, which has been going on for a while. So in any case, um, I've pulled your cards and it really looks like <sighs> there are some, when you confront the obstacles that are coming up for you um, today or right now in general, They're there to point you back to your own self-worth and self-esteem and ability to confront and overcome obstacles. Um, I was going to say on your own, and it is kind of on your own, but it's also you plus the divine. Like, I, I'm always driving this stuff back to, like, God and the creator, not because I'm super freaking freaky religious, but because that really is the energy that's going to help you overcome all this lower vibrational garbage that we're all shedding right now. Um, and focusing on that highest vibration of energy that... Um, and if you're not sure what that means, like take yourself to the feeling of utter joy or unconditional love. Those are the, maybe not the absolute highest vibration, but those are much closer to the vibration that you need to be drawing into yourself in order to um, effectively overcome the obstacles in your path and have this victory. And you can trust those vibrations, like those are constant and not and unchanging. So um, <clears throat> looking at this obstacles card, I'm like having a nerd moment and remembering that scene in, um, what is it called? Uh, Indiana Jones and the Holy Grail. And he's like stepping off the cliff onto... Um, he doesn't know he's stepping onto a platform that will take him across the valley, right? Or the, the rift inside that cave. And he's asked to have complete faith that he's going to be caught and walked across. And it's almost like this is that scene. And you can see like these little uh, lights that are like the guidance, the, the um, divine surrounding you and protecting you and, and guiding you through. And you have to have that trust and you have to hold that vibration of trust in the divine that you're going to make it through. And that's what gives you the strength to overcome it. And this is not like, I'm not talking about, not to offend anyone, but I'm not talking about like, you know, focusing on any religious bullshit. Because frankly, if some human being put together some kind of dogma, it's probably flawed. And what I'm asking you to do is really connect directly to that pure creator presence, that thing or that presence that is all that is, um, that is pure, unconditional love and joy and hope and um, the warmth of that feeling of all that is. Um, and that's your, that's your pathway across the deep caverns, I guess, in your mind and in your heart and in your soul, those things that you're overcoming now, because we're all going through some kind of awakening, some kind of, um, shedding again of these lower energies so that we can reach a higher vibration. Um, and that is your... I mean, that's your destiny. That's where we're going as a collective, as human beings, as a planet. We're reaching those higher vibrations. And we're meant to have that. We're meant to hold these vibrations of joy and trust and hope, not the vibrations of fear and um, in iniquity and sadness and grief. Facing those obstacles with this light, this hope, this joy, 
and trust is going to bring you victory and success. Like there's no, and that's what's so great about the high vibrations is they're so trustworthy that there's no way that you can fail. You might succeed in a way that's different from what you were focusing on, um, but your mental focus is <clears throat> holds a lower vibration than um, your channeling of the light. So while your mental focus is not always wrong, it can lead you astray and you want to stay focused on that highest vibration to lead you to the successful place. And I just feel like, so we have two, the five and the six here, the, the, the cards um, on the top row, they both show imagery of, of like a cliff or of like being over an abyss. And I feel like that's where a lot of us are. We're at this place of stepping off the cliff into something brand new, into something potentially terrifying um, because it's unknown, but we are being asked to trust and we're being asked to channel in that high vibration. And when you're doing that, you're going to, again, you're going to have the victory that you need. What does it mean to channel in that high vibration? Again, just focus in on the feeling of unconditional love of joy and wherever that leads you is where you need to go um, it's going to open you up more to your actual intuition and your actual guidance as opposed to fear and mental um, restriction which is going to open you up to your ego which is essentially fear I mean it's it's trying to protect you from the possibilities but it's not based in truth it's based in fear and fear is an illusion fear is not real um so our advice this for today oh the bottom of the deck was positive movement forward this is all part of you doing the work that is bringing you to into the light into that new place away from the negativity or the lower vibrational lives that we've been living and that doesn't mean that our lives have been bad but they've been um, <clears throat> focused in the third dimension, which is all physical, it's all heavy, it's all slow moving. Um, the lower vibrational feelings exist there. And we're moving into a place where um, life will still happen the same, but we're not going to necessarily fall prey as often or ever it, to those lower vibrational um, feelings like fear, like guilt, like uh, sadness, loss, um, grief, those things might exist, but you'll move through them much more quickly because it will be more natural to focus on the light vibrations, the high vibrations. So, um, moving on the, the advice this week is Ishel, medica uh, medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. And that just goes back to what I'm saying about channel in that light vibration. Um, every one of us has access to healing power. You don't have to be me. You don't have to be another, you know, um, energy healer or whatever. Um, for instance, one of the healing modalities I teach is a traditional modality called Reiki. And um, many of you know what that is. Some of you might be trained in it. That's something that every single one of you has access to once you're attuned to it. So it's natural for human beings to work in energy healing. And it's natural for us to apply healing to, to ourselves and also um, to all of those around us. That's not a special you know, a special thing. Like some of us, for instance, might have a particularly strong bent toward it or might, um, like I ha I channel my own healing modality, which is incredibly potent and strong. So that might be my own gift, but all everyone has access to energy healing. So, um, and this is a high, it brings you to a higher vibration. This is a higher vibrational reality. Um, when you're in that reality and when you choose that reality, again, all reality is a choice. You make the choice to accept either your situation as it is or accept in a higher timeline, a higher vibration so that you move through the challenges that you're facing in a much quicker way, in a much less stressful and painful way. 
Um, so channel your inner medicine woman, the, the part of you that is in direct connection with the divine because you are in direct connection with the divine. That's your birthright. Um, you are a piece of the divine. It's not even like having to channel through to another entity. You are a piece of it. And so you're just attracting in that highest level of your divinity in order to bring in those higher vibrations, which you are um, by birthright allowed to have, allowed to access. You don't have to be special to get the, I mean, you are special. <laughs> Let's go back. You are special, but you don't have to have some kind of special permission to have access to those things. And in doing that, um, you're taking your power back. Like this is your innate power. You're allowed to have that. This says Archangel Raziel, your God-given power and intention to manifest blessing, or use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Everyone has the potential to manifest the highest possible um, reality in their life. That is what you were given. I mean, that is your God-given right. That's your birthright. It's just a matter of believing that you can do it, connecting to the energies that make it possible, which are those high vibrational energies, trusting that it's happening and allowing it to happen, giving, giving yourself permission to have success. How many of us are blocking ourselves by not giving ourselves permission to believe that it's even possible by believing that, you know, only the priest or only the pastor has the right to be in direct connection with the divine. Or perhaps I'm not good enough to receive the blessings of the divine, but you are. It doesn't matter what what you think you've done or who you think you are, who you are is a piece of uh, the divine. And and within that are all the potentiality uh, potentialities that come with being a light being and being able to channel those light energies your reality the obstacles you're facing on earth are just a byproduct of your belief that you are not um, of the light and yet you are and it's also a byproduct of um, your past experiences and all lives combined so that you're now overcoming that you're now bringing yourself to the place where you understand that you are part of the light you are a light being and you are not your obstacles and challenges. You're overcoming them once and for all. So I hope that this, this is helpful and not too esoteric. I realize my readings tend to go there because that's where I exist in my uh, daily life. Um, I'm also happy to answer questions if you don't understand or want me to explain something more or give you some kind of process to do any of the things I'm talking about, please comment or um, message me. Um, especially if you comment, there's probably other people who have the same questions. So please do that. Don't feel embarrassed or like you're challenging me or something like that. You're not. I want to hear what you're asking because otherwise I don't know where you are um, all the time. I do know where you are in a sense. I feel that everybody is is facing some of these challenges and is feeling very tired, but victory is right around the corner. As soon as you accept your own divinity, bring in that positive, uh, positive um, energy and trust and trust in your own ability and trust in your own guidance and receive that guidance with faith. All right, guys, have a great day. You're on the path. You're doing it. I believe in you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.